It's been a record-breaking deal-making year for the corporate team. Uh, for the second year in succession, we've been named the most active deal-making team in Scotland. We've seen our activities coming from a wide range of sectors, including fintech, private equity, technology and consumer-facing businesses. We conducted a survey of senior executives across corporate Scotland. The results of the survey showed that there is remarkable confidence and determination of Scottish businesses to push on and make investments. Two very recent deals that reflect the strength of corporate Scotland. The Standard Life Aberdeen Asset Mega Merger is a huge transaction on the global stage. The Wood Group's acquisition of Amec Foster Wheeler is a really good example of the Aberdeen oil and gas sector not just sitting back and waiting for things to happen. There's great confidence across a wide range of sectors, a clear desire to get on and do business and not be held back. Over the next two years, we anticipate that most, if not all, Scottish businesses will invest in technology, and we foresee particular interest in cloud, big data, and online payments. Scottish businesses are less concerned about Brexit. A lot of Scottish businesses are already competing globally. It is unlikely to lead to a drop in investment activity in the next 12 to 24 months. The clear message from our survey is that Scottish businesses are unwilling to let uncertainty define them or dictate how they conduct their activities. If anything, we think it will lead to more diverse deal structuring and funding sources. The last 12 months showed lots of interest in Scottish assets from international buyers. Skyscanner deal showed interest from a Chinese buyer. The Benriach deal showed interest from a US drinks giant. Dealmakers in Scotland remain resilient despite the political uncertainty. This speaks volumes for the strength of corporate Scotland and the importance of Scottish businesses on the global stage.